Today I'm going to share a game changing and free iPhone camera app that will transform your video quality. So if you've ever tried to film a YouTube video or any type of video on your brand new iPhone, you might have been a bit disappointed in the results if you were hoping for that really cinematic feel that you've seen online. You might not be able to pinpoint exactly what doesn't look quite right, but you can just tell that it was filmed on an iPhone and not a professional cinema camera. Now chances are the main culprit is the fact that the default camera app just shoots in full auto so it doesn't give you the correct settings for cinematic looking footage. Now this is where our free app comes into play because it enables you to fully adjust all the different camera settings on your iPhone. Just a few weeks ago Blackmagic Design which is a company that's super well known for really nice cinema cameras released an app totally for free for the iPhone that enables you to have full manual control over your iPhone camera. So let's jump over to the iPhone and I'll show you how to use it. All right so here we are with the Blackmagic camera app and I'm just going to take you through the main settings and features that you can expect to find that'll really help you get that really nice cinematic looking footage from your iPhone. So basically the main setting you want to focus on when it comes to making your footage look more professional and cinematic is the shutter speed. Now the way to know what your correct shutter speed should be is just look at your frame rate. So if it's 24 or 25 you just got to double that number. So for me in Australia I typically shoot in 25 frames per second. So if I double 25 that's 50. So I just set my shutter speed to 1 over 50. And that just lets you get the most natural looking motion blur, which is what sets apart cinematic footage from iPhone, typical iPhone footage on full automatic. It's the motion blur. Now in order to set your shutter speed and your frame rate, it's just up here in the top left. This is your frame rate. So here you can set it to pretty much anything that your camera is capable of. So this one's capable of shooting in 60 frames per second, all the way down to 24 frames per second. I normally shoot in 25, so let's stick to that. And then next to that, we've got the shutter speed. So currently it's set to 50, but you can literally set it to whatever you want. So as you can see, the footage and the motion blur starts to look pretty weird when you set it to the wrong shutter speed. So making sure you've got it set to the correct, which is double the frame rate. So for me, it's 50 when my frame rate is set to 25. That's what I want it on. And now all I have to do is just hit the lock button up here and it's set. It's not going to change. Even if I tap to autofocus, it's not going to change the shutter speed. And I'm going to get that really consistent cinematic, nice motion blur that will just make my footage look really professional. So if you look closely, just a regular iPhone video, the motion blur doesn't look quite that natural. Whereas when you compare it to proper cinematic footage or even just your iPhone footage when it's set to the correct shutter speed, we get a much more natural looking motion blur, which in turn just makes a huge difference in terms of making your footage look professional. Now let's just go through a few of the other pro features on this super cool free Blackmagic app. So the first tab here, you've got a whole bunch of different settings that let you see things like this, which is the zebra setting and to turn it on you just hit the off button there so now it's on and as you can see on my computer screen we've got some zebra lines showing up and that just means that area is overexposed so that's pretty good for a free app now if we move down we turn that off we've got this here which is the focus peaking so if it shows those red lines you can see what's in focus if you can't see the red lines then that means that that item is out of focus so that's super handy for checking your focus especially if you're filming yourself then we've got some grid lines which is really handy for making sure your level. It's also got some guides here that you can turn on and off to fit different aspect ratios. So this is particularly helpful if you're shooting for like vertical content for like Instagram or YouTube shorts, that type of thing. Then we've got some safety lines. So here you can just set a grid or a marker for where you don't want to be shooting outside of just to make sure you've got enough room for things like text and stuff like that. Moving down, we've got false color, which again is a super pro feature that you typically can't find in iPhones. It usually only comes in like cinema cameras or mirrorless cameras. And this is a really great way of nailing your exposure. I've got whole other videos on that if you want to check that out. And then you can also even load in custom LUTs. I don't have any custom LUTs loaded currently, but that is also a super pro feature that you can't normally get on default or free iPhone apps. So then you've also got the ability to auto or manual focus, which is pretty cool. You can't dial it in or set presets like you can in other paid apps. So that's one downside, but it's definitely pretty handy, especially if you don't want it to focus hunt while you're filming yourself. Now you've got the, also the exposure adjust if you do want to adjust your exposure up and down a little bit. Now here you can adjust the level of stabilization on your phone. So if you turn it off, it's obviously pretty jittery. It picks up all the
the vibrations in your hands. If you set it to standard, it crops in a little bit, but it's a lot smoother and you can go all the way up to cinematic and then extreme and that will give you the most smooth footage, which could come in really handy depending on what type of stuff you're shooting, especially if you're shooting a lot of B-roll with your phone handheld, using that setting is gonna come in really handy. And you've also got a zoom. So you can just check your focus using this or literally just zoom in and out on your video. And then lastly, we've got a drop down menu, which is basically a way of just recording on each clear pot might be a good take. You can record different scenes, whether it was interior, exterior, day or night, and these sorts of tags just help you sort out all of your footage when you load it up onto your computer and start editing it. Now it's just got a couple of extra features I'll point out. You can adjust your white balance up here. So it's got presets, which you can adjust depending on what type of light you're in or you can just set it to auto you can also adjust your iso and the tint once again super pro features it is legitimately a pretty pro app i would highly recommend using this app if you're going to be using your iphone to shoot your youtube videos or really any type of content at all it's definitely going to be able to give you a greater level of control and just dial in your iphone settings to make sure you get the best results from your really expensive <laughs> iphone 15 or whatever phone you've got if you're interested in more of these tips and tricks when it comes to leveling up your production quality then and make sure you subscribe or subscribe to my email newsletter, Create Better. Other than that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you very soon in the next video.